Hey guys, we're on our road to a million subscribers. So make sure you subscribe or else we're gonna die. Ah! Yeah! All right, Batman fans, today, oh, we're gonna be checking out the entire line of series one and series two of the old Batman figures made by McFarland Toys. Ooh, they got Batman and Zombie Robin. Ooh, I love Zombie Robin. Zombie Steve, that's not Zombie Robin. You're the only Zombie Robin around here. Well, anyway, we've got all these toys to unbox, as well as the backhand playset. Holy cow, how'd we get our hands on this? Oh, puppetastic. And then we were able to find the entire second set of these awesome figures, which contains Penguin, Riddler, and Catwoman. But first things first, let's start opening these figures right here, which contains good old Batman as he looked on the TV show from the 1960s. So let's open up this Batman here. Wow, it looks just like him. Oh, that is so cool. Just look at that detail on the face. Oh, that is perfect. Looks just like he did from the TV show. He's got the old Batman symbol. I love that. He's got the utility belt and the big old cape flowing off the back. Awesome. The only thing he does come with is a stand. It's a shame because it doesn't stand very well. So let's see. We'll rob one of these from the other Batman lines uh, from the McFarlane Toys. And oh, I can't ask for much more than that. Well, maybe we can. One of these little Kapow things. Neato, we can put him on his fist here. <laughs> Look at that. Come here, you. Pow! That is so neat. So, yep, there is our first figure of good old Batman. All right, so before we get too ahead of ourselves here, I want to open up Penguin next because, well, he was in the uh, last Batman movie. He looks great. Wow! So he looks just like uh, the Penguin from the uh, old show. This is so cool. Because once he's loose, oh, he looks great. Oh, looks like the penguin I remember from the old show. He goes around going, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> oh, he is awesome. So he comes complete with a top hat. He also has a monocle in his eye. Wow, that is so neat. What a great detail in there. Perfect. And then he's got the bow tie, the spats. <laughs> it's so awesome. So yep, the perfect penguin for this lineup in series two. All right, so let's look at uh, ooh, the Riddler next, and he looks great too. But outside the package was where this guy really shines. Whoa, that face looks just like the actor. That is perfect. Mask over his face, that's cool. He's got the little question marks down his body there, and with the big one being on his chest. <laughs> oh man, this takes me back. Oh, he looks just like the Riddler from the uh, old cartoon, or should I say TV show. He looks great, especially next to Batman. Oh, I deduct that you're the Riddler. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, man, crazy. And then, of course, brings us to the last Series 2 character right here, good old Catwoman, which uh, isn't the Julie Newmar one. This is the uh, other Catwoman that came later. Not really sure why they opted for this one, but it uh, probably looks like more like the movie version that just came out. But uh, yeah, there we go. There's the uh, old Catwoman. <laughs> She's got the cool necklace around her neck there. That's pretty cool. She's got the uh, iconic ears and mask. And boy, it looks just like her too, especially with the uh, body frame. Which, of course, both these characters look great. Once you put them all side by side, there is the Series 2 complete set coming at you of these cool McFarlane toys. All right, so now let's check out the Joker. And the cool thing about Joker is they actually made two different ones of these guys. Look at this. We got the regular Joker. Joker, and then we get the exclusive Joker with the mask over his face. I think we'll open both of these. This one's the rarer one, which is the Platinum Edition. And it looks like the same exact sculpt with the uh, thing over his face, but let's open up this one first. You know, I gotta say, we've come a long way since this Joker ugh, it was portrayed in that crazy TV show. <laughs> oh, look at that pink outfit. Oh, that is perfect. And we've certainly come a long way from uh, this iteration of Joker. Oh, look at that. Oh, so neat. So put these guys side by side. It looks like this version is actually based off the old Joker. He is in line with uh, Batman here, which kerpow! Oh, that's fun. But uh, yeah, there is the original Joker. All right, so the last figure we have is the boy Blunder. <laughs> I mean, the boy Wonder himself. Good old Robin. And it's cool because they actually made two versions of this guy as well, too. Oh, look at this, a rare one. Looks like uh, he doesn't have a mask on. And he is the the Platinum Edition right there. And boy, he looks a lot different. <laughs> look at old Burt Ward, oh, that's funny. And there he is without the mask. Ah. Ugh. And whammo. Cool, so there's Burt Ward. And I think he can actually stand on his own. <laughs> that's the only figure that does. All right, that's pretty cool. Look at that cape. 
Oh man, it only comes up to there, that's pretty neat. So yeah, it's very colorful, just like he was in the TV show. Greens and reds and yellows. As you can see here, uh, <laughs> even Robin, the one that's supposed to be smaller, is actually towers over this guy too. Oh, that's funny, so get out of there, Robin. Because we have all the 1960s characters coming in here. So let's see, Batman, Robin, and the Joker. Boy, this is one awesome looking lineup. Hey, Robin, oh, we better get that Joker. Yeah, I agree, let's get him. And kapow! Oh man, look at that. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, Batman, you got me. And with the lineup that cool, oh, well, you gotta have an awesome Batmobile. And this is probably the coolest one because it's the original, the original Batmobile. Wow, so let's get this out of the package. Ugh, get out of there, packaging. <laughs> we got ourselves a cool Batmobile. Wow, look at the front. So yeah, this is the classic Batmobile from the old TV show. It's pretty darn cool. We got a little sirens and stuff on top and we get a little steering wheel right there and the wheels that move, got the symbol. Perfect, oh man, look at that. <laughs> Neat, and then the best part, then you can take old Batman here. Let's see, get him in a sitting pose. Put him in the, uh, oh man, it fits right in the driver's seat. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that, so cool. Oh man, talk about a cool toy, look at that. Oh, Batman and Robin tried to get old Joker. Hey, you guys, it's me, Joker, and my Joker clone. <laughs> Two Jokers for the price of one. So let's get him, guys, and cut from. Uh oh, I'm the last one standing. Ha, time to take out old Cesar Romero. <laughs> nice. And of course, now that all that stuff out of the way, we'll step to check out the ultimate Batman Batcave. Da, da, da. Just looking in this window, we can see all the cool stuff inside. Wow, all the cool bat gears and gizmos. Pop the top for some Batman goodness. Oh, look at those bright colors. Ah, oh, just love it. Ah, oh, that is so cool. So there's the back, the background of this cool back cave. And I guess we get the, this little cardboard thingy for the uh, floor. So let's see, we got all kinds of uh, oh, cool gizmos and stuff, but uh, I'm not gonna put all this stuff together because I've got some puppet magic. So let's do this. And oh, mama, just check it out. This thing is phenomenal. Look at all these little things we have up front here. Wow, we've got a memory bank full of stickers. We've got this little desk right here and the navigational aid, that's pretty neat. We have, ooh, the old back computer files, all kinds of computers. Wow, and this old thing here, <laughs> which you go on top. Wow, it's so cool, the little platforms and more gizmos over there. And then we have this big old thing in the middle, which uh, I think is big enough for the old Batmobile to drive in on. Wow, so cool. We can even fit the Batmobile into the scene. And put him at his computer gizmos right here. Oh, I can find that Joker. Where is he at here? But I gotta say, what would make this Batcave even better was if we put all these awesome figures into it. And but bam Oh, man, our set is complete. Look at that. Perfect. We got Batman and Robin over here. And then over on this side, <laughs> we've got all the villains from the show. Oh, perfect. Well, I hope they make more of these villains because <laughs> I would love to see other characters like Mr. Freeze. And oh, man, just a bunch of others that I can't even remember right now. Oh, <laughs> this would be perfect. So, uh, yeah, they haven't really announced a Series 3, but I hope they are coming. All right, guys. Well, if you want any of these for your very own, make sure you check out well, I. And Targets, I know they've seen them there. Uh, don't know Walmart, but hey, I'm sure you can find them on Amazon and more. So keep your eyes peeled, guys, if you want your full set of these cool Batman figures for your fairy -os.